Let's continue the idea from the last page and the last video on the fact that for the same triangle where we had, well, not the same triangle, but we had two similar triangles that both had 70 degree, 20 degree, and 90 degree angles, so two right triangles. We were referencing the 20 degree angle, and we found out that the ratio between two sides of one triangle turned out to be the same as the ratio between the same two sides on the triangle number two. So opposite divided by adjacent in one triangle was the same as opposite divided by adjacent on the second triangle that had the same angles. Since this is true for all right triangles, there is actually a table of values that gives the precise ratio between any two sides of the right triangle, given a particular angle of reference. We give these ratios the names sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, sine, cosine, and tangent. These you're going to hear a lot about over the next few years, of course, the next few days in geometry, but the next few years we use this a lot. Here's the trigonometry table. It's got a whole bunch of numbers in it. And in the end, we're going to actually figure out how this is all stored on our calculator so you don't have to carry this table with you. But for right now, we're going to be referencing this table. All right, so the ratios that we just figured out on the last page are going to be remembered with this acronym. And this acronym is SOCATOA. And make sure you spell this correctly because that is the key. SOCATOA something else that you'll remember 10 years down the road. You don't even remember using trigonometry, but you'll remember SOCATOA. All right, so how does that help us? Well, it helps us by determining or helping us figure out the ratio between two sides and the name of that ratio. So for instance, the sine of the angle is going to be the ratio between the opposite and the hypotenuse, and we'll write that down. But actually, the first thing I'm going to have you write down is this. Um, we're going to use this, which is a Greek letter. Uh, I don't need to put that in quotes. This is the Greek letter theta. And it is used as a variable for an angle. Just like x and y are used as variables, theta is a Greek letter that is used as the variable for an angle. So whenever you see that in math, this Greek letter theta, it's usually going to mean that you're talking about an angle. Instead of using x to represent the angle, we're going to use that Greek letter theta. All right, so Sokotoa then, start off with the sine. So the sine of our angle, which we'll call theta, just a generic angle, is going to be the ratio between the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So sine of theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. Now the abbreviation for this, I'm just going to put abbreviation down here on our calculator is something like this. SIN theta and we'll just use opposite over hypotenuse as our abbreviation. But on, on your calculator, you might notice, if you have your calculator out, you're going to see an SIN button. There's nothing bad about that, okay? Right? Sin, nothing bad about this particular thing, but uh, we're going to use that abbreviation. Now, the next one is cosine. Sure, we'll write that up here. So cosine is going to be the ratio between the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. And we'll abbreviate it COS of theta, cosine theta, is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So you'll see on your calculator there'll be a COS button that stands for cosine. And then our third ratio that we're going to look at is the tangent. So we use that word tangent again in a slightly different context, but the tangent of our angle, tangent of theta, is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Or sorry, take that back one more time. Sorry about that. Tangent is going to be equal to opposite divided by adjacent. 
So tan of theta is going to be opposite divided by adjacent. How do I remember these? Well, let's go back to Sokotoa again. The so part means that sine of an angle is equal to the opposite divided by hypotenuse. So S-O-H, sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. The ka, C-A-H, means that the cosine, C, is equal to the cosine of theta. I forgot the little theta symbol here in this notice. The cosine of theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So C-A-H, cosine theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And the tangent, TOA, TOA stands for that the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent, T-O-A. Now, it's still probably just a little bit confusing. We're setting up the idea of trigonometry here. We're going to actually do some application problems next. But below in the table, you're going to see all of these ratios for a particular degree amount. So as we do the problems on the next page, we're going to be referencing that table. But I want you to be thinking about Soka Toa, and I want you to be thinking about the ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent. And I promise, even though it's a little confusing right now, it's going to get a little bit better as we work through some examples. And we'll see that in just a minute.